Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Technocats. In today's video, we will learn about the auto tuning of PID function in Mitsubishi PLC FX5U uh, with the limit cycle method. So uh, basically, there are two methods. One of them is cycle cycling method. So let's get started. First of all, uh, I will explain you the program and I will show you how it auto tuning is done. So I have used M2 as auto tuning start bit. So once uh, you press M2 the value 800 that means I am using as 80.0 as a temperature so I will set value 80.0 so 800 will transfer to D0 then we have 300 millisecond as something time then again for 11 1.0 I will show you here uh, first of all I will show you the PID function block here it is used as D0 this is S1 S2 S3 and S4 so basically we need to set the parameters in D10 that means S3 as you can see here in the manual parameter section is S3 so first is sampling time as I mentioned previously the value here is uh, uh, 300 milliseconds then we have 11.0 that is for uh, 0 bit for uh, operation setting so we can see that we have used one we will turn on this bit so it is a backward operation uh, oh i will just turn comment here operation cycle and uh, backward right sorry backward operation okay so then 11.6 here is step uh, the uh, even uh, auto training method that is we are using limit cycle method that the other one is step response method so we will select here limit cycle method okay now again the this uh, d35 we have moved 500 d35 is uh, 25 here is uh, let me see Timeout setting. Uh, these are this one is for 26 and 35, 36 and 37. These are sorry. This is for the PV value threshold, and the other is ULV LLV. So let's write the comments here. This one is upper limit. The down is the lower limit. Okay. Now we have D38 that is for uh, weight setting. And uh, 11.4 is for auto tuning start started. That is here as I can see. Four, four bit auto tuning is executed. So this is now the initial work has been done. Now if you uh, use NC here, M5 is used as bit and. Uh, I am resetting the MV manipulated value uh, that is the output of uh, PID function to zero initially. Now, at when the auto tuning is started, I have turned PID function, and uh, as you can see, the 13, 14, 15, and 16 is uh, at present zero. So that means that value of PI and D that is P, I, differential gain, and differential time is uh, at present zero. Okay. So initially these values are zero, and uh, once we auto tune this uh, <coughs> uh, function, PID uh, function, the value will automatically generate here according to your uh, response of the heater we are using. 
now i have used m4 as auto training you can say just you can say that this is running of uh, that pid is running or not m4 now we used timer with a cycle time of 1000 that uh, we used here in sorry so now just uh, let's uh, compile this and transfer Once this transfer, we will turn on the auto training with M uh, with bit M2, and let's see what the result we have. So, okay, and close. Now I will start M2. So M2 auto training has started. You can see auto training started is turned on. M4 is also turned on and. <coughs> The output here we have used is Y1, so let's monitor Y1 here. So at present Y1 is on, and uh, this is our uh, present value, and T80, uh, uh, sorry D0 is our set value, and um, our M uh, manipulated value is D5. <coughs> so we have set the value to 80. And the present value is going from 423.33 and it's increasing because Y1 is turned on. Now we have to wait for uh, I think approximately a minute for this auto tuning to complete. This auto tuning uh, can take approximately few minutes if you are using it in actual hardware. Once the auto tuning is complete, D11.4 will turn off, and uh, the value will show here in D13, 14, 15, and 16 according to your uh, heater response. So as you can see, the auto tuning is complete now and uh, you can see the value of p is 118 and uh, d is 563 sorry i is 563 and it uh, derivative time is 14408 so this is how the auto tuning is done in this uh, method so this is all in this video and with the limit cycle method of pid function uh, now in the next video i will uh, describe the other uh, method that is uh, this one the step response method and uh, stay tuned for the next video thank you